Howdy folks, behind me there are two different 2019 Ram trucks. One of which is the classic and the other one's brand new and we're gonna tell you the differences between the two. For 2019, Ram is offering not one, but two 2019 1500 models. The brand new fifth generation truck and the current fourth generation truck. But why are they doing this? We sat down with Ram 1500 Classic brand manager Connor Spence to find out. So yeah, to answer your question, hey, why are we building two body models side by side? Why, what's the thinking behind that? So we thought, hey, there's still a lot of demand for this you know, what we'll call the old generation truck. So why not take advantage of that of that opportunity? Uh, this will serve the entry, entry level buyers um, needs as well as commercial. And we'll, like I said, continue to produce it until uh, you know, demand says otherwise. Now, if this truck looks familiar to you, it's because it is. The fourth generation Ram has been around since right about 2009. And honestly, if you compare this truck to one built in 09, it doesn't look all that different. So what's new for 2019? Well, right here. It says classic on it. That's about it. Many people lament the departure of the crosshair grill. This is the new grill. This is the new front end. It's squinty eyed. It's lower. It looks more aerodynamic. The entire truck is brand new. It's a new platform, new sheet metal throughout. Are you still going to be selling the tradesman in this truck along with the new 2019 lower end models? Yes, we are. So okay. what we, we offered the, the tradesman in the new all new Ram 1500 just for styling differentials. So as I mentioned, for a commercial buyer, for example, that wants to buy a tradesman for their small business or business in general, and you want to pay 800 to $1,000 more for a base, uh, you, you can you can up, up to that. Um, but the differentiation between this gen versus the new gen is that we don't offer a red cap on the all new 1500. So if you want a red cap for your business or just for your own personal use, you gotta get a, uh, a Ram 1500 Classic. Under the hood of either of these 2019 Rams, the Classic or the fifth generation, you get the 5.7 liter, which puts out 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque. They even look the same. <laughs> and they both have eight-speed automatic transmissions. However, the fifth generation's transmission has been updated. The redesigned Ram does offer more capability in terms of towing with a maximum of 12,750 pounds in the right configuration. Compare that to the 2018 Ram which would tow a maximum of 10,620 pounds. We're looking at an addition of almost 2,200 pounds. Coming soon for the fifth generation Ram, an e-torque system which is a mild hybrid for both the Pentastar V6 and this Hemi V8. So stepping inside the new Ram, it feels like we've really stepped into the 21st century here. <laughs> yeah. But I'm kind of disappointed in a couple things, Nathan. Oh yeah? First off, let's talk about the powertrains, right? You still have the 5.7, and there's a new e-torque system coming out, which is like a 48 volt mild hybrid system for the 3.6 and the V8. Mm -hmm. But it's just not that different. No, right? no, it still has the eight speed automatic transmission. Right. So um, we're in GM and Ford are both starting to move toward 10 speeds. Yep. We drove the Ram Rebel, the new one, right? Mm -hmm. And it was more efficient than the old one. And even though the eight speed might not seem as modern as the 10 speeds, I thought it was always in the right gear. It, it, I felt that it was probably one of the better transmissions out there, personally speaking. And then the V8 is a solid engine, but it's 
it's just it's not it's not up to the standard now in my opinion so what do you what you wanted was when the new body style and everything else came out you wanted new powertrains I did want new powertrains I wanted maybe something turbocharged right because mm -hmm. you know we live at elevation yeah and those turbo <laughs> trucks that Ford makes power wise and performance wise at elevation they're very effective they are very effective <laughs> You know, personally, I love the crosshair grille on this fourth generation Ram. I think the overall styling is even more aggressive than the fifth generation Ram. I prefer this design. Now, I will say, like, the interior on this truck is feeling a little bit dated, especially compared to the new truck, right? And that makes sense because it's been around since, what, 2009? Yeah, correct. You know, it's an, it's an older model now. Um, but I think, in my personal opinion, I, I really like the exterior styling more. How about you, Nathan? No, I like the new one a little bit better. You but, do? But just a little bit. I, I mean, it's... Yeah, I like them both. I, I do think that Rams are, are really good looking trucks on the outside and I think they kept that going through the new generation. I like the rear of the new generation too. I like the way they styled it. But yes. but nonetheless, um, you know, there are a lot of guys who uh, really fell in love with this generation. Pricing has yet to be announced on the 2019 Ram 1500 Classic, but FCA did tell us that the vehicle will continue to be produced at the Warren Truck Assembly Plant the new truck will be produced in Sterling Heights, Michigan. Tom, what have you done, man? You're supposed to be the responsible one of the group. I'm used to this. You shouldn't be used to this. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, yeah, that's... All right, Copper. You have to work harder than that to get us. I got a Hemi. The Ram 1500 Classic will be available in seven different models. Tradesman, Express, Bighorn and Lone Star, Laramie, an SLT fleet vehicle, and an SSV fleet vehicle. It is worth noting that the Eco Diesel is also returning in the Ram 1500 Classic, albeit at late availability. Now for some of you, the interior might look familiar, and that's because there are a few design cues from the old fourth generation interior. However, this new one, is much much better it's not just the layout which i do approve of and the fact that you can get a massive screen in the middle kind of tesla like or even this screen which is actually pretty impressive or the ip which is really nice too by the way gauge layout is excellent but what i really like is the feel of the components all the rubbers that are here inside the dials they're, they're just they feel substantial it doesn't feel really cheap and chintzy even these switches here, which I love toggle switches, they feel really good. I do kind of wish they made some sort of other clicking noise, but the point is, is that you're able to use these things and you feel like you're using something that's built of quality. Hey, they've got a two liter turbo that they're putting in the Wrangler and it is fairly powerful. Yeah, I think you're right, Nathan. I think it is a potential that we will see a, a, a turbocharged um, e-torque system in, in something like a Ram. Why not? Why not? Yeah. And there's another thing to keep in mind as well. They're trying to stagger their um, output because they're making as many of these as they can. They're really trying. And because of that, they just figured, well, let's put out the classic, which we've covered. And so there's popularity out there. People want them. Yeah. You know? So maybe they don't feel it's an urgent need to have to go out there and, you know, put the new powertrains in there that they're working on. Stepping inside the 2019 Ram 1500 Classic, you can tell that this truck is eight, nine years old. The material quality is not nearly as nice as the new 2019 Ram. Some of the technology looks a little bit outdated, although the rep did tell us that the 8.4 inch display is coming um, with late availability. But you know, you can tell that the plastics are looking a little bit a little bit dated and some of the design is rather basic, but I kind of like that. I like the simplicity of a truck, especially in this 1500 Classic. Obviously, you don't have that massive screen available like you do in the um, new 2019 Ram. And I got to tell you, it's still pretty comfortable. I like the steering wheel. I like the thickness. Overall design, very functional. Two large gauges right where you'd expect them. Yeah, I think that this truck will work for your everyday needs, especially if you don't demand the quality of the new Ram interior or at least some of the modern fit and finishes you'd find in that 2019 truck.
So it's the return of the fourth generation. That's why they're calling it the classic. And if you missed it, well, good news. You can still buy it alongside the fifth generation. As always, this is Nathan and behind the camera, Tommy. It's a beautiful day to shoot trucks, isn't it? Don't forget to go to tfltruck.com for news views and real world reviews. We'll see you next time.